Yeah, this uh, old Axelson lathe has a history. It uh, was uh, owned by the uh, Foot Burt Machine Tool Company in Cleveland. And uh, they were famous for their drilling machines. And they also made a, a really odd radial drill that kind of folds out like cards called a Hammond radial. Those are fairly common around here. And you can see that. Take it, get the paint off of it that I slopped on here. Yeah. There, foot bird asset tag. And uh, apparently this thing stayed in Cleveland and it seemed uh, after the foot bird company it uh, uh, was uh, part of the Rand Corporation. So then it ended up for sale in uh, Yoder machine tool put it on eBay <laughs> okay well I'm still over here on this clutch and um, 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 a viewer suggested this and I was gonna do it anyway no kidding is uh, just put some studs in here so I can uh, more easily slide this thing together. Well, I've got both clutches in there. And, and the uh, springs, uh, the cover came off easy because the springs <laughs> push it on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screws in here and squeeze it together and see how the gears line up and uh, see how the... Uh, See if I can push that together. The uh, shafts come through these uh, angular contact bearings here. So then I'm, ch I'm still chasing down the uh, oiling system, and uh, I've got the I've got the the saddle propped up there, and uh, I'm digging out. Uh, let's see. I think I can. Uh, Get that loose and in a good spot here. I think I can get a lamp somewhere right in there. And uh, I got this mirror here. Let's see if we can find that. Maybe this has got to be back a little more. Can you see that X? And it's got a hole in it, and it's kind of plugged up, but uh, oil was seeping through it uh, when I was running the machine. So i got to clear that totally out. And, of course, I'm going to use the hoppies. And so there's a plug I just pulled out of here, and I fished a wire back there. Got a bunch of sludge on it, and that hole goes back to that uh, X. And oils the rear way. Then there's a line here that goes over and oils the uh, um, cross slide. Then there's holes in the cross slide in, in, a, in a circle uh, groove, and uh, the compound rest or the top slide ways get oiled too. Um, all from the, the pump. So it's kind of convenient to be able to, uh, you know, slide this carriage back and forth. Now, uh, a fellow was asking about that carriage bolt, and that's a weird, <laughs> kind of a weird thing. It, it drops down behind here, and... Uh, the nut like sits on on a shelf back here and if you unscrew this it just falls right through this 
and uh, I don't know if there's a way to get it from behind, but I'll, but I'll, but we'll check that out. So right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this together and get the handles on it and, and check how they both work and check the distances. Uh, even though this has got a broke bearing here, it'll still semi-function, you know, it'll close. And the, the longitudinal here is uh, uh, good too. And you know, it's sort of some things don't look right. Okay, back after the camera shut off. It looks like the, the camera is trying to find its uh, orientation there. Now, this roller here down here for the oil pump it looks like it's getting crowded over and so i think this uh bearing behind this gear needs a spacer to uh move that uh um, gear so it's not cocking that roller there it's actually pinching it uh, making it hard to work and it's uh worn on the face of the gear, so that's not right. See, uh, people have been in here and they mix some stuff up and I think they lost a few things. Okay, now, that was my mirror, didn't break though. Okay, so I gotta get that, get that uh, cleared out then um, on the V-ways here. Uh, See if we can see where that is here. Got to step on the cord. Here we go. Okay, the oil point, I don't know if you can see it. It's right back up in there. You see the groove for it? Okay. And I don't think there's any, there's just those two. Then there's also, for oiling, uh, these elaborate uh, way wipers with the spring-loaded um, brass uh, wipers. Um, and then they have, they're packed with uh, felt. And the flat way is the same way, too. It's got this uh, spring-loaded wiper here. And it's packed with felt. And they both have uh, separate oilers. Okay. So the oiling system's pretty simple. It just oils here, oils here oils both sides of the cross slide and then that round groove no matter where you turn the top slide it uh, oils uh, the compound rest or the top slide ways too you think the monarch 10 double e would do that but it don't okay i'm going to be putting some of these parts on that uh, 10 double e over there and to have a breakdown here, it, it, it's not too bad because uh, it's kind of like uh, the machine's already in the hospital. <laughs> I got all this other equipment. And these old machines were made with other old machines. So I don't know. I don't, you know, it would take something really catastrophic, a bunch of busted gears to really scrap away, I think. I don't know. But I think there's a lot of ways around uh, stuff that uh, I've, I've come up here. And luckily nothing seems to be uh, real bad at this point. Well, I'll uh, uh, load this video as an update and I will be, be back. Okay, thanks for tagging along. Give me a little more hoppy here. I'm uh, cleaning out those oil passages. Put the top on that bad boy. Okay. Yeah, I got a I got a rifle cleaning rod here with a small brush. 
And I'm working it up this oil passage here. I have it tilted down this way. There's a, a big hole going to a small hole. Hey, I finally got that through. Yeah. So I couldn't really uh, use air or anything and, and try to blow this stuff through. So we'll get it uh, dissolved out with the hoppies. You know, th this stuff's really time consuming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that's nice. I can feel that uh, stuff uh, breaking up that uh, goo that's in there. Look at this thing oiling good. <laughs> like have a clogged artery. That's what it had. Okay. <clears throat> and I've got a oil galley somewhere hiding. Where is that one? Oh, right here. It's underneath. So let's see if we can find what, how deep that one goes. Oh, that's pretty plugged up, too. Matter of fact, it's kind of stuck. Okay, I'll be back. I got the rod stuck. Hey, it's Saturday morning and I'm still cleaning oil passages. I think the last video I stuck the cleaning rod in this uh, hole. <laughs> that's down here. But uh, I got the uh, carriage tilted down now. And I'm using the hoppies. Got the big bottle here. Sent by a, a viewer. I'll tell you what, it's uh, coming in very handy and it works really good for cleaning the sludge out. And uh, one of the viewers mentioned um, about uh, using grease inside the, the apron here. And they did just that. They greased everything. And uh, that grease got into the oil, I believe, and, and really sludged stuff up. I mean, it's, it's just goopy, nasty stuff. And uh, so I think uh, it's really a bad idea to use uh, grease or, or very much grease uh, in an in a apron like this that's meant to be oiled. And um, all of these oil passages were plugged, the little ones in the, in the galley here for the needle bearings. And they greased everything. And uh, the needle bearings seemed to, seemed to be okay. And the type of needle bearings, here's one here. I'm going to replace this one. Um, well, I go and drop it. Um, th this type of uh, needle bearing is a 20th century, and they're not made anymore by this company, but they're they're made by a company called uh, RBG, I believe. So I was able to uh, find a replacement for this one, and. Uh, so that that one goes there, and um, everything else seems to be okay. Um, the uh, I got I, I was able to find all the bearings, so there there's nothing really very odd there. Um, Except for, I'll show you these here. You might find this interesting. Now, these are um, angular contact, medium precision bearings. And uh, you can really tell on this one that's an angular contact. This is a more modern one than this one here. Uh, is the small inner race and the thick outer ring. So the thrust is coming this direction. And these bearings here contain the clutches 
uh, that are under spring pressure. And uh, these bearings here are not unlike um, bicycle uh, cone and cup bearings. So these bearings are, are, are still good. There, there's no need to replace those because the um, when you see how that one moves, when it's pulled out this way, the race is smooth. There's no there's no bad no bad stuff in that. So the clutches are like under spring pressure in here, and it makes taking the cover off uh, quite easy. So okay, so I got the uh, oil passages all all. Uh, cleared out and I'm waiting for the bearings and I'll just uh, clean stuff up and I got to uh, make some space there's one this is kind of neat here this one let's see if I can get that somewhat clean here you got a little in, in play on these shafts and you can see this one here <laughs> after about 80 years uh, wore a little groove in the center there and gave that shaft a little bit more in play than it should have. So uh, <laughs> all I got to do is turn the washer around. I'll take and smooth this out, you know, and and that, but it's not worn on, on the one side. So I don't have to make that. But I have to make some parts, and uh, I'm going to uh, make some spaces on the Fabulous Monarch 10 E here. And uh, I think that's all i got to do is just uh, make a few spacers. So, okay, I will uh, be doing that and uh, probably turn the camera on. And I hope you're, you're all having a good Saturday. I know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I'll be working on this. Okay, bye-bye.